Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on Eastern Heat. Today, hopefully guys, day is going all well. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use keywords within your tasks in NSB. So let's jump straight into it. So I'm going to go ahead and go really slowly here, go Z cells in today. So if you guys have any further questions at the end of the video or during the video, you can always comment down below. Contact us on Twitter. If you have the product ready, you can ask us in Discord as well. And there's an email on screen that you can contact about your support queries as well. So to break down the idea of keywords, essentially keywords are basically what directs your tasks on a site. So let's say you selected a site like Kif. So as you can see, Kif is selected there and let's say my keyword is Yeezy so my task will be directed with the keyword Yeezy on the site KIF and it will monitor the products like I slowed on there for any titles with Yeezy within it. Obviously that is a very very simple definition however within NSB it gets a lot more advanced you can use this to your advantage very well it does look kind of complicated at first but trust me guys watch through the video if you have any further questions you can always contact us I'm going to do my best to explain everything very slowly and in a very detailed manner so you guys have a full understanding of how keywords work within NSB. So to get into the topic, we're going to talk about single sets of keywords first and then we progress onto other things as the video continues. So let's say I was on the site KIF like we were before and I'm going to look for the Yeezy 350 blue tint. To get started with single sets of keywords, which is this part of the video, essentially if I were to type in Yeezy 350 blue and tint, the spaces between the keywords act as an AND function within your keywords. Now, if you guys don't know what I mean, essentially, each space that is there acts as an AND. So let's say this was a sentence, for example, I'm essentially telling the bot to search for Yeezy and 350 and blue and tints in any given title. Just to break that down a little more, essentially I told you guys that this means Yeezy and 350 and blue and tint. Essentially what that will do is go to KIF and whether a product drops or the product's already in stock on the website, it will look on all the product titles for Yeezy and 350 and blue and tint. So let's say a product had Yeezy and 350 but it didn't have and blue and tint, it wouldn't go for that product, it has to have these four words in it. So essentially that kind of narrows down exactly what your task is going to go for and one thing to keep in mind throughout this entirety of the video and when you use NSB, capitalization does not matter whatsoever because in reality I should have started this with a capital Y, however with keywords it does not matter so you can do everything in lowercase or uppercase, it does not matter. Now we're going to introduce a concept within keywords which is negative keywords. Negative keywords is a way for your task to exclude given items that match a word you decide to label as a negative keyword within your keyword section of your task. Now essentially to do that all you have to do is put a dash and then the word that you want to exclude. So for example if I was running these keywords my task would be direct to the KIF website and the task would look for Travis and Scott minus hoodie. This is a negative keyword so essentially it will look for all products with Travis and Scott but if it finds products like a Travis Scott hoodie for example it knows not to go through there because I did a negative keyword on the word hoodie. This is a very very important thing to integrate into your keywords because let's say an artist like Travis Scott is dropping a collection and you want a specific item, you need to make sure you have these negative keywords on point so it doesn't go for those items and only goes for the items you want. Now we're going to introduce multiple sets of keywords within your tasks in NSB. Essentially to do this you add a comma between your keywords and this acts as an R function. So essentially if I was running these keywords on the site KIF it branches off from the beginning idea I did at the beginning of the video. Essentially this will look for Nike and SB and Dunk and then the comma with the space after it acts as if this is an R. So it will be Nike and SB and Dunk or Strange and Love and SB. We'll look for products with the following keywords here and the following keywords here. So if it finds any products with these keywords on either side, it will go ahead and go through the checkout process for that product. Now adding an idea we did just mention which is negative keywords, you need to make sure those are within your multiple sets of keywords. So for example, with this keywords I just pasted in here, we're going to break it down. This will search for Jordan and Retro and Pine and Green excluding low or Jordan and OG and pine and green excluding low. So essentially any products that match this first chain of keywords or any products that match this first chain of keywords including the negative keywords it will essentially go through the normal process that we discussed at the beginning. So let's say it was processing this part essentially we we'll look for any products that says Jordan and retro and pine and green excluding low. This definitely makes your task more precise and accurate because you're adding more keywords which is basically multiple sets of keywords 
as well as incorporating negative keywords within those chains to make it more accurate and making the margin for error way smaller. Now speaking about the margin of error, if you guys are unsure about your keywords, you can always add more sets of keywords and more negative keywords within your task configuration to make it more accurate and more precise. Now moving on to some of the common mistakes people decide to make, here's a couple of screenshots on screen that I pulled from Twitter from the NSB support team that I've actually sent over to me for this video. These are bad examples. I'm going to teach you guys a couple of common mistakes to stay away from to make sure you guys are configuring your tasks excellently. Now the first common mistake is adding an addition sign next to your keywords. Addition signs do not do anything within NSB. Anything I mentioned up to now is how you configure your keywords. So the correct way of doing this would essentially be by removing the comma because with the comma being there and these plus signs being there, they're essentially trying to search for Travis and Scott within a title. But the way they've done this here is first of all, the additions that do anything. And second of all, the comma acts as an all function like we mentioned before. So this task will literally just look for Travis or Scott. Now, if you have another brand called Scott and they're dropping an item on that website, that could mess you up and that could check you out the wrong product. So the correct way to do this is by essentially move, removing all that and removing the addition signs and essentially having it as Travis and Scott because the space acts as a and function within the keywords. Now the next biggest misconception within creating tasks within NSB in terms of the keywords is that some people think the comma acts as an and. Like we mentioned before, it is an or. So let's say you were going to do this. This will literally configure your task to search for Travis or Scott within the website. So like I just mentioned, it could mess you up. So the correct way of doing this is simply by removing the comma and leaving a space there. So now it searches for Travis and Scott. Now the next common mistake that people do make is a pretty big one and can be very, very detrimental towards your tasks, which can cost you a lot of money as well because you can mess up on this. Now let's break this down. So he's done Nike and SB and Dunk and then they done the comma as an all function. So that's correct. Then it's gone from strange and love and NSB, that's correct. And then the user has left a comma at the end. Now with that keyword format within your task, you're essentially instructing NSB to look for Nike and SB and Dunk or strange and love and NSB or anything at all because after the comma, there's literally nothing there. That can be the detrimental factor towards your tasks. So to correct that, all you have to do is remove the comma at the end here and you're literally fine, everything else is fine. And now you guys can see how literally a simple mistype of a comma can be very, very detrimental towards your task. So once again, to reiterate, the correct way is by removing the comma, so that will end your keywords there. Next mistake users do make is within this keyword type. This example here, so let's say, let's break it down once again. So it's Jordan and Pine and Green, or Jordan and OG and Pine and Green, or negative low. Now we talked about negative keywords and I want to reiterate their meaning. Negative keywords is a way of isolating words within titles to not go for those products. So it essentially won't go for any item with lower in there. But when you isolate a negative keyword and you don't involve it within chains of keywords, what that essentially acts as is it will literally go for anything, any product that doesn't have low in it. Now the simple mistake people make here is that they don't involve the negative low within the chains of keywords, which is where it should be. So with it being outside, it can go for anything, literally anything at all, similar to the last mistake we talked about. The correct way to do this is what I'm showing you on screen right now, which is Jordan and Pine and Green negative low or Jordan and OG and Pine and Green negative low. Now that concludes the common mistakes section of today's video and that concludes most of the video. However, I want to finish off with the perfect keyword example. So I'm going to go ahead and paste in something here. As you guys can see, th this is a long list. I'm going to go ahead and break it down. It relates to a point I did mention before, but I'm going to break it down for you guys. So let's have a look. It says air and force and clot negative pant, negative jacket as one set of keywords. And then they start a new change of keywords with a space there saying clot air force one minus pants minus jackets and then an all function again with the comma then air and force and rose gold and negative pant and negative jackets now the reason why all these have a bunch of negative keywords within it is because let's say for example a job's gonna happen and let's say air force clots are on the website but other items have similar 
titles and that could be picked up going into detail with your keywords with multiple chain of keywords and negative keywords can make sure your tasks are precise so that concludes today's video if you guys did enjoy please drop a like subscribe if you guys are new turn on post notifications to know when we post our next video drop a comment down below with your feedback if you have any further questions let us know down below in the comments if you're already up nsp you can contact us in the discord or if you're an outsider or you're in the discord but you want another form of contact the email is on screen right now where you can contact us for support if you guys have yet to purchase nsp the link is down below we have other content on our channel that you can check out and we have our twitter where we regularly regularly retweet success from users you guys can go check it out there all links are down below i'm gonna catch you guys next time peace out